It's what most skiers and riders dream about. Heavy snow is falling and it looks like it's going to be a champagne powder day. Steamboat Resort in Colorado gets more of these days than most mountains, but what creates these ideal skiing conditions? For that answer, we head up into the clouds at Storm Peak Lab, where they've been monitoring the weather continuously since the early 1980s. Storm Peak Laboratory is the highest mountain station in Colorado. We're at 10,532 feet. We have the ability for people to stay here, conduct science experiments, we do our long-term observations, and we're operated year-round. We're in cloud approximately 25% of the time, basically at the bottom of the jet stream, so we can sample the air that's circulating around the globe. To form clouds in the atmosphere and to form snowflakes, you need a particle. This is measuring the number of particles that are in the air. So in a cubic centimeter, size of a sugar cube, these particles are really small, smaller than what our eyes can see, smaller than the thickness of a hair. By studying particles in the clouds, scientists are getting a better understanding on how snowflakes form and grow. Joel Gratz has been forecasting snow for western ski resorts for almost 20 years. So the best snowflakes, maybe not the best, but at least my favorite, are these the dendrites, the type of snowflakes you would cut out like you were a kid and they're all these, you know, six sides and they're, they're beautiful. When they stack up, there's a lot of air space in between them. And so when you're skiing through them, you ski through a lot of air. And that's what makes the snow kind of feel light and airy. Forecasters also need to look at the snow to liquid ratio to determine how much snow will fall. If it's about 10 to 1, it's a little denser. If it's a 20 to 1, we call it blower pow because it just kind of goes over your, over your head. The right amount of moisture, the right temperature regime, not too strong winds, but not no winds. So you need all of these things to come together. And that's what makes that magical powder day so magical because it doesn't happen all the time. Cheers to more champagne powder days on the slopes. In Steamboat, Colorado, Anthony Farnell, Global News.